We are at the Orange County Speedway for the 32nd race of Season 2 of the SCRO Anglo Jeans Bush National Series. The 97 of Joshua Rush will be leading us through the green flags. Step aside him is the 3 of Jay Jefferson. Points leader Kaka Watline will be starting in the 7th spot. Her closest championship contender, Zachary Fitzwater, starting way back in the 31st spot. Of course, it doesn't matter where you start. It's where you finish. This is the fourth time in series history we are racing here at Orange County. All of the previous three races have been here in Season 2. Carter Friesen became the first ever driver to win at the strike. He is starting shotgun 33rd. In the second event, our pole setter for today, Joshua Rush, won that race. So he'll be looking to become the first driver to win twice here at Orange County. And in the last event, Eli Bright won that race. He is starting 26th. So, with four races to go, including this race, we mathematically have five drivers that could still win the championship with, well, you know, we got, th you count this race, so it's four races to go. After this race, we go to Charlotte, then Hickory, then Martinsville. We got three short tracks and one Speedway event. And, of course, you can see 33 cars, only the full-timers are competing for this race. The part-timers will be back for the next event before they will miss the race at Hickory, since that track can only fit a certain amount of cars. So, in the season finale, we'll have all 42 drivers. But today, it's just the full-timers. So, with the, without any further ado, here's the most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! We had a wreck fest at North Wilkesboro, we had a calm race in South Boston, we had a wreck fest at Martinsville, so by virtue we should have a calm race here at Orange County, but that has never happened in series history. Pull them belts tight, we are racing 20 laps here at Orange County. Joshua Rush, who has experience at the strike, has the honor of leading us to the green, and Joshua Rush puts the hammer down to racing here at Orange County for the fourth time in series history. And in turn number one, and in turn number two, he goes up high to block Jay Jefferson from passing. Good move. Down to backstretch, and in turn number three, he goes way wide, but is able to maintain. Coming off of turn number four, Joshua Rush leads the first lap. Battle for second, here comes Riley Spurley Tube, trying to go around Jay Jefferson. Both former winners in this series. Jay keeps second, but goes wide. Here comes Riley Spurley Tube. Nope, just can't get under him. There's Brian Fox, dominated Martinsville, but a late race problem prevented him from getting that uh, getting that elusive win. Let's go back here. Let's take a look at Zachary Fitzwater. Fitzwater has moved up several spots already. He's in 30th. So once again, it doesn't matter where you start. It's where you finish. Trying to go around Eli Bright is his next target. There's our season one champion, Jack Legacy. He's going to need a lot of luck if he is going to repeat as champion. Maybe at Charlotte he'll have a good run. But White Lion and Fitzwater have pulled away from these two drivers. Speaking of White Lion, there she is in the seventh spot. That'll help her championship hopes as we have completed five laps here at Orange County. Joshua Rush has pulled away to almost a two-second lead. He goes wide in turn two. Don't worry, folks. There is not nitrous in that car. His car did pass inspection. So, there's nothing unusual about that. He's just got a great jump on the start. And has been building up a huge lead. If he keeps this up, he might have the record for the uh, biggest margin of victory. Unless a caution comes out. And we are catching a lot of traffic. That's the 89 of Toby Fox. Coulda, woulda, shoulda won Martinsville, but a late race caution caused Fox to lose the lead, and then that opened the door for Eric Wayne. 
Harris Fitzwater still 29th spot, moving up ever so slowly. His next target is still Eli Bright, so this will be for 28. Jack Legacy still 15th spot. White line trying to go around Henry Urchman. This will be for P6. As we cross the start finish line, next time by, it'll be the halfway mark. 10 down, 10 laps to go. Joshua Rush has a almost three second lead over Jay Jefferson. 10 laps to go. Joshua Rush. A relative rookie in the SCRL. Scored his first Bush Series win here at Orange County. In his second ever attempt at this track. Now he's trying to win two out of the last four. As he will have eight laps to go. He still has a three second lead over, ironically enough, car number three. Vice Pearly Tube in third. Fourth is Joe Jefferson. And fifth is Brian Fox in his last ever attempt at this track. Of course, that team announcing that their driver will be retiring after, oh, this season as Fox spins out. Oh, Ryan Boyer gets involved, and the caution is out. So we will not have a caution-free race, which is bad for Joshua Rush, who had a almost four-second lead. We got a car upside down. This is 17, 77 Jr., and we are under caution here at Orange County. That should not end the race. We'll take a look and see what brought out the first caution of the day. Well, here's the cause of caution. Just as I was talking about them, Brian Fox goes wide in turn three, nails the outside wall very hard, sending him for a spin. But behind him, we got even more incidences as Ryan Boyer slams on the brakes but nails Fox from behind. But that is not it as we got more cars spinning out. Marco Jepez in the 62. Jack Legacy tries to avoid. Does. Now we go further back. Here is Sammy Savvy Jr. Goes into turn number three. Loses traction in his rear wheels. Slides up the track. AJ Jones nails him in the driver's door. Sending him the 17 car over right in front of Sam and Oskin. Wow. We had a flip here at Orange County. I wasn't expecting that. As you see, all of our championship contenders going by. Al Legacy, Zachary Fitzwater. White Line got by as well. And there's our leader, Joshua Rush. So that's the cause of the caution. Took us well past the halfway mark before we got it. We'll clean this mess up and hopefully take you back to the restart with less than five laps to go. And we are back. We are going to get this race restarted with one lap to go. Sammy Seppi Jr. and the 88 of Ryan Boyer are both out of the race. Joshua Rush is our race leader. Second is Patrick Smith. Third, Jay Jefferson. Fourth, Riley's Pearly Tube. And fifth is Joe Jefferson. So can Joshua Rush hang on and lead every single lap? Or can Patrick Smith get his first Bush Series win? We will find out in one lap. They'll get the white and the green. Complete a lap. And that'll be the checkered. Pace car pulls in. And we're back to racing. One lap to go. And to turn one. And to turn two. Down to back stretch for the final time. And to turn number three. And to turn number four. Joshua Rush goes wide, but it doesn't matter. Off the final turn, he scores his second Bush Series win here at Orange County. Well, I told you it'd be a calm race. Here are your race results. Joshua Rush hangs on and scores his second win of the season. Both come in here at Orange County. Third is Jay Jefferson. Fourth, Riley Spurley. Two, fifth, Joe Jefferson. Sixth, Henry Urchman. Seventh, points leader, Keka White Line. Eighth, Sebastian Torres. Ninth, Maria, oh, excuse me, eighth, Maria Valverin. Ninth, Connor Hurley. And tenth is Alexo Antonio. Our Legacy Championship contender finished 22nd. Zachary Fitzwater finished 23rd. Not too bad for those drivers. They did lose a lot of ground to White Lion, but they did not finish even farther back. Best year race results. We had 29 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. Two were a lap down, and two were out of the race. 
Well, that is it for Orange County here in Season 2. We will take you to Victory Lane for the second time this season with the 97 of Joshua Rush, if there is one. No, there's not. Here are your point standings after the 32nd race of the season at Orange County. Kaka White Lion gained big time on Zachary Fitzwater. The lead was 9 points and is now 65. Third is Jack Legacy, 117 points behind. Fourth is Riley Spurly Tube, 166 points behind. And fifth is Al Legacy, 223 points behind. So now we have four drivers that could win the championship. Sixth is Brian Fox. Seventh is Gatlin Downey. Eighth, Diego Yepes. Ninth, Jay Jefferson. And tenth is Eli Bright. Eleventh is Sammy Sappy Jr. Twelfth, A.J. Jones. Thirteenth, Orange County race winner Joshua Rush gained four spots with his victory. Fourth, Yang Carnello. 15th is Derek Camille, 16th Sebastian Torres, 17th Sam and Austin, 18th Matt Boyer, 19th James Stabledo, and 20th is Matt Hamill. 21st is Chris Kyle, 22nd is Nick Kennedy, 23rd is Henry Urchman, 24th Carter Friesian, 25th Connor Hurley, 26th is Joe Jefferson, 27th Toby Fox, 28th Alexo Antonio, 29th Ryan Boyer, and 30th is Daniel Grachach. 31st, Marco Jepez, 32nd, Maria Valverin, 33rd, Patrick Smith, 34th, Eric Wayne, 35th, Treadle, 36th, Kyan Vargas, 37th, Gustavo Arachoa, 38th, Tony Newman, 39th, Zaptos Amritos, and 40th is Christian Vargas. 41st is Marcus Sanchi, 42nd is Kaka Silverpaul, and last is Aureus. Well, that is your point standings after the 32nd race of the season at Orange County. We will next see you at the 33rd race of the season at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.